I'm here at a, a spot that I've fished a bunch. Not sure how the fishing's gonna be today, but uh, I just found uh, my pair of pliers that I lost a while back. These are definitely mine, but they're all rusted shut now. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing a different kind of challenge today. I didn't bring any of my regular rods and stuff. I'm just, I'm gonna be fishing with what I keep in my truck for like whenever I'm not planning to fish, but I might get a chance to. So I've got two telescopic rods, uh, no extra hooks. So if I snap off, that's it. And then I've got some really, really ugly garbage baits. Uh, these are like swim dingers. Uh, I actually molded these myself and melted down some old, old lures. That's what these all are so far. But anyway, these are all old melted down plastics like Sankos and stuff, different colors. Uh, like this, it's like a worm, a June bug color. I made, I used a plaster, plaster of Paris and made molds and melted them down and used that for a while. But I'm gonna see if there's anything that might bite them. Got this cheap telescopic rod. I had to repair the reel because when I got the reel, the handle broke the first time I used it. <clears throat> Basically, it's a bunch of lures that I'm never really going to use, so I just throw them in there in case I don't have anything else. And I'll post links to everything I'm using here. But although this reel is terrible, I would I would I'd rather just go to Walmart or something and get a a ten dollar spinning reel or something rather than this one. All right, and in here these look a little bit better. They're still ugly as hell, but they're these are uh, I molded a fluke, a small fluke bait, and uh, I've made some some of those it's probably work better on a jig head but let's see what happens here there you go good looking hook there <laughs> okay. and this fluke swims perfectly for how ugly it is. And I don't see any of the bass anymore. I think they all went over there under those pads or moved on somewhere else. There's a bass. He was coming at this fast. That looks like a good one. Oh, come on. He's on, but I can't even reel him in. There we go. Come on. Pulling my drag out, getting up under these branches and stuff here. Yeah, that's a nice bass. <laughs> that's a nice fat one. Wow. That's a good looking bass. I didn't bring my scale or anything down. So my homemade fluke works. This is, this thing is so fat, it would ordinarily be a one pounder, but this has got to be two and a half pounds right now. <laughs> Getting fat for the winter. <laughs> homemade fluke on a tiny pin rod and he was, did not want to come in. I didn't bring anything with me, just what was in the truck. And I did not have a scale or anything in the truck. That was amazing. Because I didn't even see this one, and this one's bigger than the other ones I saw. 
and they, he came chasing it from far away. Try to get a good release here. And it goes off that way. That is a fat fish too. That was awesome. <laughs> that pin rod. I guess I need to tighten up my drag a little bit, but there's not really a drag on this thing. <laughs> 